folks, it's the second week of 2020. Stop it. Stop wishing me Happy New Year, all right? It's harassing me. If you do that, I'm going to file a complaint with the Delhi police. And then depending on who you are, they'll take action or not, all right? Call the week that wasn't. We'll open with this. Amid soaring tensions between the US and Iran, President Donald Trump has threatened that 52 Iranian sites will be hit hard if there are any reprisals from Iran. Mumbaikers, do not worry. Leopold Cafe is not one of them, I checked. <laughs> New Delhi says we will broker peace between Iran and the USA. Now this makes sense, because after successfully brokering peace in JNU, we've got the credibility. Meanwhile, Pakistan says it won't allow its soil to be used by anyone for further attacks. Now, a US spokesperson who wishes to remain anonymous, well, he said, that's fine, we'll only inform Pakistan after we complete the attack from Pakistan soil. <laughs> Preliminary meetings have started within the government on a disinvestment, along with Air India, other large government organizations that may go in for disinvestment are BPCL, BHEL, BSNL, and ONJC. But there's one more large government organization they'd love to get rid of, but which nobody wants. It's called JNU. <laughs> oh, by the way, my cousin passed out from JNU. No, no, I mean, he's not graduated. He just passed out uh, last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> India's first manned mission, Gaganyaan, is nearly ready, and ISRO is planning to send either one man or one woman into space. PM Narendra Modi has recommended two names, Mamta Banerjee, Rahul Gandhi. <laughs> Not, not definite, not definite. Although if I was the PM, I'd choose Pragya Thakur or Arvind Kejriwal. <laughs> the PM is now unlikely to visit Assam for the Kelo India Youth Games. Apparently, he doesn't feel comfortable in Assam as his name is not on any list. <laughs> Too much? We'll tone it down. Lots more coming up, but first our headlines. US kills Irani general. Iran retaliates against the United States. Mass goons attack JNU and Urdu poet Fez's poem causes controversy. Let's start with some world news in our top story. And let's see USA, Canada, Germany, France, Sweden, Syria, Lebanon, Iran. Let's go to Iran. US kills Irani general. Thousands of Iranians took to the streets for Iranian General Qasim Soleimani's funeral procession this week. Now, head of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards, General Soleimani, as you know, was killed in an American drone strike on a convoy when he was traveling in near around Baghdad International Airport. A hero for Iran and a villain for the US, let's meet the first cousin of slain military commander Qasim Soleimani. His name is Burzin Soleimani. Barzin Soleimani, uh, you don't look that Irani to me, but in fact, you look a little different from the late uh, general. Yes, there is huge difference. And what would that difference be? I like too much Zoroastrian food, like Parsi Dansak. What an amazing connection to bring up for some reason. What poor writing. Uh, that might explain the weight. One big Dansak, three pint beer, and I'm bomb for the day. Aha, so you're saying that's the difference? No. Uh, the difference is my cousin, Qasim Soleimani, got bombed once. I have always bombed. <laughs> there is no sensitive response to such a statement of any kind. I'm going to start all over again, sir. I'm going to start with this. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, we don't say hello, sir. Oh, you don't say hello. What do you say? The proper greeting is DTA. DTA? Death to America! Ah, yes. Well, so I'm not going to say that because my sister and family, well, they're American. And on the other hand, my dad's side, I have Iranian blood. So, any more neutral greeting possible? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, let me see. How about mm -hmm. down with Manchester United? I hate that team. Yeah, I can, I can do that because our guys, my family, uh, Liverpool fans, Liverpool fans. Liverpool! I love Liverpool! You'll never walk alone! I don't think he'll be allowed to sing in Liverpool ever. That's probably the worst rendition of that anthem. But uh, sir, if I could bring you back to your cousin's tragic death. It was no death. What? He's still alive? No, no, he's dead, he's dead. Well, he better be dead. I took his watch, his gold locket, his three wives, and plus I inherited all his shares in Iran air. Wow, you do know that this is... It was no death. It was murder. 
murder by Satan's disciples. Death to America! Oh, I mean, sorry, sorry. I mean, <laughs> down with Manchester United! One sec, one sec. So you're saying all this is to be blamed on just one man and one man alone, Donald Trump? Yes, and he's boasting he will hit 52 sites in Iran. What a bloody idiot. Meaning? These 52 sites have already been hit by Iraq in the old days. Where is the original anti? Eh? Down with Manchester United. Yes, yes, down with Manchester United, down with Manchester United, but you know. By the way, we have already started our action against the USA. Now this I want to hear, what is this action? We have banned the Clint Eastwood films. We have banned the basketball, <laughs> Justin Timberlake and the Arianda Grande along with Burger King. <laughs> you see, I'll never get to eat my double whopper with extra cheese and jalapenos again. <laughs> Typical American cunning. They spell jalapeno with a J and pronounce it with a H. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Ah, yeah, right. Hippo hypocrites. Hypocrites. Right, right. Yes, yes. But that insolent Donald Trump will pray for his crime against humanity. So you are finally threatening an escalation in violence. I'm not saying anything like that. My lips are sealed. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You're, are you net? What? Listen, seriously, sir. Will this escalate into perhaps war? <coughs> we have bombed a few US camps and that's it. That's it? That's it? Are you going to not attack USA? What are you saying? Never. Never? Never. We want the U.S. to suffer, so we will never attack them. It is simple as apple pie and mayonnaise. I beg your pardon? We may drop a few missiles here or there, but that is it. There is absolutely no need for military action. Instead, we have decided that we will give him our support. Okay, what are you saying? Support, support. We will support Donald Trump in this year's election. <laughs> we don't need military action as long as Donald J. Trump wins the election. Let me understand this clearly. You want Trump to win the next election? Imagine. <laughs> Four more years of Donald Trump. <laughs> Four more years, America will suffer! America will suffer! I see your point. Good thinking. What tactics? What strategy? Ah, that's so... I mean, Manchester United! I mean, vote for Donald J. Trump! Vote for Donald J. Trump! Yes. Make Iran great again! Yes, both, both those. I agree with both those. Those are very interesting points, whatever they are. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Look, don't write into us. We have no proof that he's even Irani, all right? So please understand, we get who we get. Now let's talk about the retaliation in actual truth. Iran retaliates. In the meanwhile, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards have retaliated. They've started firing ballistic missiles at military bases in Iraq, where American troops are stationed. Now what is the reaction in the US? And in fact, what was the reason to kill the general in the first place? So let's go straight to the White House because my cable TV operator is the same guy who puts the cable TV in the White House so we have a connection there and this may or may not be the US President himself. He's huge, he's huge, huge. What, one sec, who, who, who? Pompeo, he's huge. I believe he's put on so much weight, he's here. Not calling the kettle black, but anyway, going on, can we get to Iran, sir? For that, you'll have to talk to my advisor and official spokesperson. Uh, Mike Pompeo? No, Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Speaking of which, in a tweet, uh, Donald Trump threatened to destroy 52 Iranian targets, including cultural sites. Yeah, I believe we have some great missiles, some beautiful missiles, some unbelievable missiles, missiles that can take off from all the way here in Washington and go all the way there to Baghdad in Iran. Right, that's Iraq. Iran, Iraq, what's the difference? Everything is the same in Arabia. I just bombed all of them. Boom. That's not the same, but anyway, 52 Iranian cultural sites included. Which were the ones you were planning to bomb? I've decided that we will start with the pyramids and the sphinx. What? That's, that's Egypt. But isn't there sand all over the place over there? Yes, but it's not the... Sorry, 
That's Iran then. <laughs> After that, we should bomb the Burj Al Arab. Oh, that's a hotel in Dubai. Then we should bomb the Taj Mahal. That's a monument in India. It's a different country, our country. Sorry, sounds Muslim. After that, we should send a missile and bomb Gulshane, Iran. That must be Irani. That's a restaurant in South Mumbai. That's close for renovation at the moment. What are you talking about? Mumbai, is that closer to North Iran or South Iran? No, 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 listen, listen. You're talking nonsense. It's India, that's India. Now, do you realize what the world is saying about you? They're saying that this could lead to World War III because of you. Fake news. It's all fake news. There is no way this could lead to World War III. It's all fake news. How can you be so sure? It's so simple logic. How can I start World War III when I haven't yet started World War I or II yet? How, how, how? How much do you want this to escalate? I mean, at what point will you retreat? 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 Donald Trump never retreats. He only retweets. Okay, okay. Apparently there's no proof that General Soleimani was planning any action against the US or that he was involved in 9-11 or that he was actually any sort of threat to the US in the present day. All fake news. All fake news. But people are saying that you are doing all this because of the coming presidential elections. We call this very matlabi here. No lies. All lies. All fake news. We are proud of our attack and we even have a name for our attack. What are you saying? You have a name? What are you calling this attack? We are calling it Our Pulwama. <laughs> it's you. No, you can't. You, you can't. That's, it's our thing. You, you can't. <laughs> Next, they'll make a movie. You can't do that. Stop that. You can't do that. I'm sorry about this, folks. Again, don't write into us. The first half of the show is fabricated. I don't know who these people are. They're just out of work actors from Lokanwala who walk around Pare looking for work and they can't get it in the suburbs. We'll be back after the break. Okay, welcome back, uh, folks. It's called The Week That Wasn't. New Year, we should have had a new name, but we just couldn't agree on any. Uh, not all of them are allowed by the government because I was trying to go with Michael or Kadir and both the names were rejected for some reason. <laughs> Speaking of which, Irfan Khan Pathan announced his retirement at just 35 from all forms of cricket. That means if he's parking his car in your gully and you ask him to join in a game of just gully cricket, he can't. He cannot even do that because now you're retired. How dare you? I ask anyone once you retired, you can't. But seriously, folks, every week, every single week, we read of sportsmen retiring, but never any mention of a politician retiring. In fact, politicians not only don't retire, they plunge into cricket administration. Oh, just to put it into perspective, Irfan Pathan, 35, retired, gone. Sharad Pawar, 80, going strong. Going strong. In fact, come back. Come back. <laughs> Mumbai apparently has the worst air pollution at 8 a.m. in the morning. However, noise pollution in Mumbai is at its worst all 24 hours. 24 hours, 7 days a week, you can enjoy the noise pollution in our lovely city. Okay, the Mumbai Marathon is expected to see 35% more women participate this year. Now, a marathon, of course, is the only place a man can chase a woman in peace. Who can tell, na? Bhag, bhi bhag, 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 bhag. Bhag, milka, bhag. That was the original script, but we can go with that. Traffic experts say India has miles to go before we can have self-driving cars on the road. Now, as a South Mumbaiker, I ask, who in South Mumbai self-drives anyway? Sabke paas driver hai. The mob that attacked JNU students also attacked vehicles outside the college. In their defense, in keeping with Delhi culture, the goon said that they only attacked odd-numbered vehicles. Following the procedure, the protocol, the process, and I respect and salute them. Speaking of which, now these mass goons who attacked JNU, well, violence broke out at JNU this week, as you remember, as masked men armed with sticks attack students and teachers and damage property on the campus. I mean, damage property they have to do, now you can't just hit people on the way, you have to hit the bench also. <laughs> Fingers were pointed at the ABVP, I'm not saying, people are saying, but Hindu Raksha Dal's Pinky Bhaiya, yes, that's his name, hold for five seconds and enjoy. Pinky Bhaiya has claimed responsibility for the JNU violence. We speak off the record to one of the alleged perpetrators of the attack on Sunday. Now, they're covered in masks, so we don't know who they are, but this is the guy who represents them. Slave him! 
दिमाग नहीं है Of course. Do you think Pinky Bhaiya sounds threatening? Ye kaise naam hai Pinky Bhaiya? Kaise lagta hai naam Pinky Bhaiya? I can't be Pinky Bhaiya, yaar. I am the Batman, the Batman. No, I don't. Okay, now you've hurt a lot of people, including an ambulance, sir. And I'm asking you this as a respectable, mature individual. Why did you attack ambulances? Ah, why do you think we attack ambulances? Because we hate the ambulance. We hate all the ambulance. We are against ambulances. Ambulances against Modi ji. Now listen, this doesn't make any sense. How can an ambulance be against Modi ji? I mean, what's the connection? Because the Lal Bhatti culture has been stopped by the Prime Minister himself. How dare the ambulance defy Modi ji by using the Lal Bhatti? Did you did you go to college? I mean, did you actually get a degree yourself? No, don't answer. We'll move on. You also hate uh, women indiscriminately. अरे भाई पागल आदमी है दिमाग नहीं है कैसा सवाल पूछते हैं लियो यू लियो यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग बिकॉज़ वी फॉलो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ वंस अगेन आई एम पुटिंग माय हैंड अप एंड आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट हैज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गॉट टू डू विद यू बीटिंग अप वुमेन इनडिस्क्रिमिनेटली देखिए भाई साहब वी मे बी द गुंडास बट वी सपोर्ट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सपोर्ट्स द जेंडर इक्वालिटी आई एम नॉट इवन गोइंग टू गेट इनटू दिस व्हाट जेंडर इक्वालिटी Are boy equality if we beat the men then we also have to beat the women also I think I should vote for this guy and end this conversation here is it also true sir you took food from the canteen without paying for it wo dusri baat hai i don't want to get into that because that is about principle no we believe in our heritage and in our tradition what heritage what tradition have you ever been to college of course yes have you ever eaten at the college canteen of course or have you always paid immediately after eating the khana Never. Always put it on the tab. And see, like every other college tradition, we take the food from the canteen and we never pay for it. And that is exactly what we did, huh, ji? <laughs> yes, but how did you enter the JNU premises amidst all the security? I mean, if I tried, I couldn't get in. उसमें क्या खास बात है? I have the college ID card. Ah, so you are a JNU student actually? Not necessarily, beta. Not necessarily, मतलब? अरे मीनिंग इन दी डेली वी ऑल कीप दी मल्टीपल आईडी कार्ड्स व्हाई अरे भैया दिस इज डेली एंड इन डेली यू आर नेवर शार व्हिच कॉलेज और एज ग्रुप यू मे वांट टू रिप्रेजेंट इन व्हिच टूर्नामेंट व्हिच मैच व्हिच पार्ट व्हिच एग्जाम तो बात कर दे यार किस सवाल पूछते हैं किस आदमी है यार एंड दे हैव इलेक्शंस कमिंग अप इन अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स एनीथिंग यू वुड लाइक टू से सर एनी रिमोर्स ऑन योर पार्ट यस यस ऑफ कोर्स वी आर वेरी सॉरी ओ थैंक गॉड एट लास्ट ओके दैट्स गुड दैट्स गुड Yes we are very sorry we did not pass out our visiting cards What dear viewer if you need a friend beaten up if you want to start a riot if you want to cause the cultural or civil disobedience if you just want to teach your spouse a lesson please contact us at www.gundagardi.com myself pinky bhaiya hashtag #batman batman batman ab beta hi bolo बंटी अभी भाई बोलो ना एक बार अरे मारो तू मारो अरे मारो 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 ऑल राइट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट इनसाइट आई वुड लाइक टू बीट अप समवन ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड द टू गाइस स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड यू द वन ऑन द राइट ऑन योर राइट शोल्डर या आई वांट दैट गाइस वी विल डिस्कस इट ऑफलाइन इन द मीन टाइम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस कंट्रोवर्सी उर्दू पोएट फैज़ेस पोएम क्रिएट्स कंट्रोवर्सी IIT Kanpur this week which I didn't get into even though I tried <laughs> set up a panel to consider whether the poem hum dekhenge which I thought was written by Rajiv Gandhi many years ago uh, but is actually the famous Urdu poet Faiz Ahmed Faiz's work well is it anti hindu now apparently IIT Kanpur students recited this poem at an agitation in support of the Jamia protest against CAA which started the whole controversy i don't know i'm so confused in india right now joining us now is renowned poet Ahmed Faiz Ahmed I'm telling you, he's no relation. I guarantee you, <laughs> sir. Emma G, sir. Adab. Adab, Adab, Cyrus. Oh, fuck yeah. Chill. I'm good. Now, now, sir. This whole controversy about Fez's poem. हम देखेंगे. बकवास है. बकवास. ये बोल सर. सर सर बकवास. बस एक वाहियात है. हम देखेंगे तो बहुत बहुत अच्छी नज़म है. बहुत बहुत अच्छी कविता है. Yeah. Then what about IIT Kanpur deciding whether the poem hurts Hindu sentiment? I mean, IIT Kanpur को अपना नाम बदल लेना चाहिए. 
नाम बदल लेना चाहिए अपना चेंज द नेम फ्रॉम आई टी कानपुर टू टू कानपुर बिलो स्टैंडर्ड आई होप योर पोएट्री इज बेटर देन योर प्रोज इफ नॉट दिस देन वॉट काइंड ऑफ पोएम यू थिंक हर सिंधु सेंटिमेंट आई मीन जस्ट टेल अस नाव यू आर आस्किंग अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सुनिए सुनिए ध्यान से सुनिए आई वो नो आई आई मीन यू डोंट हैव टू बट आई जस्ट यू नो इंक्वायरिंग नहीं सुनिए सुनिए अर्ज किया है ओके ओके क्या ओके अब देखिए हम एक ऐसा शेर सुनाएंगे जो सिर्फ हिंदुज्म को नहीं बहुत सारे इज्म को ऑफेंड कर सकता है बहुत सारे इज्म को ऑफेंड करता है और राइट प्लीज कांट वेट कांट वेट सुनिए ध्यान से सुनिए ओके कंटिन्यू प्लीज कंटिन्यू बहुत बदतमीज बहुत कंटिन्यू इरशाद का बाप बोलेगा तुम्हारा कंटिन्यू इरशाद बोलिए इरशाद आई मीन इरशाद आई हैव नॉट डन दिस फॉर अ वाइल इरशाद इरशाद हां अर्ज किया है जरा ध्यान से ध्यान से सुनिएगा अर्ज किया है बाला 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 व्हाट व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट वाज दैट हाउस फुल फोर का गाना है अगला वर्ष सुनिए अगला वर्ष व्हाई नो सुनिए क्या नहीं थी सुनिए बाला 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 नो 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 आई एम सेइंग नो बाला अभी आई एम सेइंग नो व्हाई वुड यू थिंक आई डिडंट से इरशाद और अरशाद और एनीथिंग आई सेड नो दिस इंडियन इज वेरी ऑफेंसिव ऑफेंसिव आई थिंक हमने कहा था हमने कहा था आपको ऐसा शेर है जो सिर्फ हिंदुज्म को नहीं बहुत सारे इज्म को ऑफेंड कर सकता है बहुत सारे ऑफेंड कर देगा सबको राइट आई गेट इट आई गेट इट सो व्हिच इज्म डज दिस ऑफेंड द मोस्ट यू थिंक आउट ऑफ द लॉट इंटेलेक्चुअलिज्म आ एब्सोल्युटली राइट एब्सोल्युटली राइट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू फैज अहमद फैजस पोएम डू यू थिंक सर द क्रिटिसिज्म इज नेसेसरी वैलिड करेक्ट इसका भी जवाब हम आपको शायरी में बताएंगे ओह गॉड ओके ओके गो अहेड ध्यान से हां 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 गो ऑन गोन वो बहुत बदतमीज व्हाट गोन इरशाद का तुम्हारा बाप बोलेगा गोन इरशाद बोले ओके आई एम सॉरी आई सेड आई एम रस्टी इरशाद इरशाद हां सुनिए फैज की कलम से निकली नजम फैज की कलम से निकली नजम हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे ए बीच में मत बोले जी सुनिए सर व्हाट तो हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे तो हुकूमत ने क्या दिया जवाब क्या जवाब दिया आपने चुप रहो बता रहा हूँ चुप रहो गो ऑन फैज की कलम से निकली नजम हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे इस हुकूमत ने जवाब दिया हम फेंकेंगे हम फेंकेंगे वाह 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 ला जवाब ला बहुत बढ़िया बहुत बढ़िया सुपर सुपर वाह वाह कहने वालों को हम कूटेंगे हम घुसेंगे घसीटेंगे चपेटेंगे निचोड़ेंगे और तोड़ेंगे वाह वाह डोंट ओवर डू इट दे विल गेट अपसेट स्टॉप इट नाउ आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इन्वॉल्वड इन कॉन्ट्रो स्टॉप इट काम डाउन काम डाउन माय गॉड शुक्रिया ये रिजल्ट दबा हुई uh this is a very ironic piece for us because also the poem is called of course hum dekhenge but the viewers thinking hum nahi dekhenge that's the worry we'll see you soon there are four people talking i can't hear yaar ye ghuma do thoda udhar nahi to idhar dhyan jayega mera we are trying to get this side of side view don't start now let me just sort this out ha dekhiye jaldi karo jo bhi karne ka jaldi karo time nahi hai cool somebody read the can somebody read the opening udhar hai You opening sitting? <laughs>